The Grandfather's Paradox was proposed by the French science fiction writer René Bargevel in 1943. To put it simply, if there is theoretically the possibility of time travel, then I would not exist if I traveled back to my grandfather's time and killed him. But the problem is, when I was going to kill my grandfather, I should have disappeared a long time ago, so who killed my grandfather? This paradox has puzzled scientists for decades. Later, as the times developed, scientists cracked this paradox. The answer is simple, you can't kill your grandfather at all. Why? If you think about it, the assumption of the grandfather paradox is inherently problematic. That is, the theory of relativity is not wrong, and time travel is also not wrong, but it is the grandfather paradox itself that is wrong. Because people ignore an important premise, your body, your mind, and everything else are part of your own temporal frame of reference. When you do travel back in time, your mind, your body, and everything will go back to you at that moment in the past. It is impossible to say that it is not true time travel at all to separate oneself from one's own space-time frame of reference, but to travel back in the environment and go back in one's current identity. Therefore, the grandfather paradox makes a mistake in the assumption and is not a very reliable problem. Even so, there are still a lot of scientists studying the possibility of time travel. Scientists have proposed that, according to quantum theory, the human body is flesh and blood and cannot resist the tearing of space. Once you enter the space-time tunnel, you will be broken down into atoms, travel through space-time in the form of microparticles, and then recombine after reaching your destination, so that it is possible to realize space-time travel. But this is not safe, and many scientists believe that if some of the microparticles transformed by the human body are lost during the journey, people may die. Therefore, traveling through time and space is not a beautiful thing. Before his death, Hawking left a piece of advice to mankind, don't try to travel casually. Because in the process of traveling, it will bring trouble to time, cause serious damage to yourself, and may also cause historical chaos. As we often call the butterfly effect, we may not intend to change history, but because of our appearance, it is likely to change the world. It may be a small change at first, but it will gradually expand, and perhaps this small change will have a devastating impact on the future. The development of human society may undergo unknown changes, the original history will be rewritten, and some people may even suddenly disappear as if they never existed. The risk of such unpredictability is too great for scientists to allow such a thing to happen, whether it is possible or not. Standing at the crossroads of science and humanity, we finally understand that the most profound revelation of time travel may not be how to change the past, but how to cherish the present. The next time you look up at the stars, remember, every star you see is a messenger that travels through time and space, spanning light years just to tell you that this moment is eternal. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area to discuss, I am exploring the universe, and we will see you next time.